Hi everyone, it's Anzig here and I am so happy to share with you my latest news. I was contacted by Scrapbook.com and asked to join the Scrapbook.com exclusive product design team. And of course I said yes! And this is my first uh, DT package so I thought I would share and show you what I got and as you see it's quite a bit of stuff so I have divided these into three piles so let's start with pile one Alright, first of all, I got this adhesive. This is an adhesive roller and has a, um, I don't know, a line, a full line. It's double sided. It's not the dotted kind, but it's a complete line. I hope you get what I'm talking about. <laughs> I really like this adhesive and I just ran out of it because I bought 10 together last time I got some. So this is a great thing to have. Then we've got some acrylic blocks, always good and handy. And I really like how these feel. I'm just going to open up one. They have a really nice grip to them, so you can hold easily. As you can see. <laughs> so you can fit your hands in here. It's quite nice actually. I like it. This is the large one, and then this is the uh, small one, and then this is what I was excited about. I have been wanting to get this one. It has been, I've been adding it to my cart each and every time, but then I take it out and, and save it and stuff, but now I have it, and this is such a great thing for those tiny little bits. A bit. Uh, then I've got a pack of uh, Unisol White flat cards. These are five and a half by four and a quarter. It'd be great for well, any card because then you don't have to cut it down to size. So this is an excellent thing to have. And then what I love most about Scrapbook.com exclusive product is the foam tape. As you know, I do love foam tape and I absolutely love the scrapbook.com ones because I have I think I have almost every version of it so I got these uh, foam strips and these are excellent when you do shaker cards because you just they have one complete row and then you can just use you don't have to cut as much tiny bits out I love it and then I got a sheet of the square ones, which are excellent. And the circle ones. I've never tried the circle one from Scrapbook.com before, so this is handy as well. Foam tape, check. I always need lots of that stuff. So let's go into pile number two. Stamps, people. We are talking lots of stamps. Oh, there are loads of alpha stamps and there are many different kinds. So let's start with this one. This is the vintage type. This is the uppercase and then you have the lowercase as well. I think these must be quite good, especially if you're doing pocket style scrapbooking. These will come in handy. Maybe even planners. It's like the simple typewriter font, which is always fun, like that. And then you have these mini caps solids. These, I mean, are actually quite great for uh, cards and, of course, pocket style scrapbooking as well. So you get the solids and the outlines. So these actually go together, so you can put the outline on top if you have a lighter colour and put this in a dark one. Or if you want to colour this in to match what you're creating, excellent as well. And then the third smaller one is the classic uppercase and classic lowercase. Really nice one. I like the numbers in here actually. 
Excellent. Uh, then let's take it all. Let's finish off with the alphabet, shall we? Now here we have the ball caps outlined, and you have the uh, mini one version. This is the uh, full scale proper one. This is actually fantastic for scrapper king. It's a really nice size, and again you can basically take this over like have a lighter ink for the uh, solids and then have a darker one for the outline or as I said before color this in however you want to I really like this one classic alphas are always a good thing to have and then you have this a larger case this is quite a big one at the end Subway lowercase. I really like that you get these alphas and you get the solids and then you get the narrow line. So basically, which ones do you prefer? You use that one. I really like that one. That is a really good one. This is a nice size as well. So this will actually work with scrapbooking, of course, but card making as well. Very nice. And then you have tall skinny alpha. These skinny, skinny alphas are quite good. I think these would be excellent for pocket style scrapbooking, or in my opinion. And I do like those squares. These could come in handy at any time. But when you get a tiny heart and a tiny star. Oh, it's so pretty. I like that. And also you get the uppercase and the lowercase in this one. I like this one. Really do. Now we finish with the alphas, uh, and we got the stamps as well. This is for the uh, cards for kindness that Shredbrook.com is doing. If you're interested in that, I urge you to go to the website and click the cards for kindness stuff uh, image, and it will take you to where you can donate cards. These are really nice. Thinking of you, thank you, hugs, and sending. Thing. Then you have oh sunshine, that's really sunshine. Hello, happy birthday, happy mail. I like this ring, but it's cloud. So this is a good stamp set to have, basically for any kind of card. Really nice set. And then I got this as well, naughty and nice. And I must say, I do like this. I am quite sarcastic person, I'll admit that. So I do love things like that. This one's actually my favourite. Thanks for the gift card. Please enjoy this gift card of equal or lesser value. Like that one. And then you have, yeah, don't get your tinsel in a tangle. <laughs> so great to be on the naughty list with you. It's Christmas, calories don't count. Now that is just true. And yeah, 364 days of fun, one day of coal, worth it. <laughs> so we basically have 13 Santas. And if you misbehave, you get a potato. But it's a light sentiment, nonetheless. And then we have this, and I really like this one. It's called Magical Day. Now, this looks a bit uh, Disney themed. I do love a good Disney movie. Uh, I've been to Disneyland in uh, Paris, but I've been to Disney World. But even though I've never been, these are excellent to use. I mean, they have these beautiful images that you can use anywhere, bring on the magic, I mean that mm -hmm. is his birthday. And then you have this lots of them, picture perfect, time for treat, magical, memories, hands in the air, well that would work for any kind of theme park. <laughs> right, so we can't anymore. And this is a kid, I really like that mm -hmm. castle. Love it. 
Now let's go for pile number three. Now I got the glitter brush marker from scrapbook.com. It's actually kind of handy because I have a glitter marker that is running a bit low on the sparkly stuff. So this is actually a great thing to have. And then you get the ink blending too with the domed foam applicator. I have several of these domed foam applicator and I love them. They're absolutely fantastic when you are, especially when you are inking through a stencil and you want to be certain of where you are. I just, I don't know, it has a good grip. I've never tried the actual tool from scrap.com but now I have two so I'll give them a go. I mean I can always use more ink blending tools. You can never have too many can you? No. And then this. The scraper. And this is most likely an excellent tool to have for the stencils because usually I use old gift cards and stuff like that but this is going to give me quite a good coverage like that. Oh yes, and then we got the uh, sticky squares. I've never tried these. So, I don't use really dots that much like I used to when I started but hey, I'm going to give these a go and see how they work for me and my craftiness. And then I got more of my favourite double sided adhesive. Oh, love it! The 1 8th, always good to have. This is such a great width of a tape. I mean, you look at it and you see it's, oh, it's so tiny, but believe you me, this comes in handy so many times, especially in if you're making mini albums. Very good to have. And then they come out with a new size or width of a tape that is three quarters and this is a nice size. Excellent. And I, this is such a good tape. I love it. And we got, well I got, a bunch of stencils. Ooh. First one is this little boxes. This is really good. It can work for any kind of cart or layout. Love it. And the scattered hearts. Oh, I do love these. These are so cute. Oh, love them. Oops, sorry for the glare. Ball stripes, another classic to have. This is excellent to have. And dotted. I do love dots, polka dots. Excellent. And then we have the new ones. This is Mum's. Oh, this is excellent. It would be great inking with these different kinds of colours going fading out to dark or just rainbow colours. Oh, like that. And Confetti. This is such a good one. Oh, this is going to be a fun one. Oh, this probably look very nice with sparkly paste. And the little rainbows. I mean, rainbows are awesome. Oh, love this. And sunny days I had. I really like that one. It says the stencils are quite large. Actually, they are six by eight. So these will work excellent for scrapper, scrapbooking, but also scrapbook.com is coming out with mini albums that are 6x8, so if that is a size that you would like to scrapbook in, this will cover a whole page. Might be fun to try. Hmm. And then lastly we have the little clouds. Clouds are always a great addition to any card or layout. So pretty. 
so this is what I got and I am so looking forward to having fun creating stuff. So thank you so much for stopping by and I will have links to all of the items below and if you want to see anything that you like it is just a click away. And again, I am so excited to be a part of the scrapbook.com exclusive team and I hope to share loads and loads of stuff with you all. Thank you much for watching. Bye!